What's up, Aries? This is Soul. And Aries, we're going to look at some energies here for you, uh, starting January 30th and ending February 5th. Wow. Um, I'm being very careful here because when I started Aquarius' video, I, I guess I have to uh, throw in a voiceover or something to change the dates because I had to mention the 23rd to the 29th, and we already did that energy, right? But um, So yeah, I'm a week ahead of myself, but that's okay. Aries, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the Afro Goddess Arcana Tarot to deliver your messages. No reversals. So let's begin the energies here to see what is potentially coming up for you this week. Energies for my Rams. All right, so Aries, let's begin with the first card, and we open up with the energies for you starting this week. The Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is always the card of challenge. Usually it's involving people that, you know, you may have had, um, you know, challenges with in the past. That could be family members, that could be friends, and definitely could be ex-romantic partners. Well, whenever the Seven of Swords presents itself, they are thinking about you. Uh, so, you know, if there was some sort of uh, detachment or estrangement going on here, well, it could be that they are thinking about you only to come back to present more challenges for you. So just use your own best judgment. Be discerning here and entertaining anybody from your past that, um, you know, could have created some sort of conflict for you in the past. You sort of wiped your hands of it um, and you don't want to deal with it no more. I, I like this card here because the snake is wrapped around her. And then, you know, depending on what, you know, culture you're from, the snake, um, is nothing but evil, okay? But in other cu cultures, the snake is regarded as good good omen. So I don't know. It all depends on you and where you are. But we're going to read it as such that, you know, this person here, uh, if they um, think or are thinking about coming back, then they're just going to present more uh, challenges for you. So adding nothing new to the table or the plate, as I always say. This could be a week, though, if you had put something down, uh, forgot about it, thought you lost it, um, something was missing, then, you know, the energy uh, reappears or you come across whatever you thought you lost. That's the Seven of Swords. Following that, we have the uh, Six of Wands. Six of Wands is something very positive. So, again, you use the energy as the positivity in terms of something moving towards you, Aries, or you're moving towards something positive. It is a traveling card. It also, too, is about victory and success. So you attach that victory and success to anything that's going on for you this week. Um, if you are traveling, say passage to, say passage from. Following the Six of Wands here, now we have the uh, World Card, Major Arcana. So there's opportunities that may open up for you unexpectedly or expectedly. It's a completion of energy as well. So whatever is going on for you or have been going on for you, you can expect that energy to not, you know, completely come to a close, but it is moving away from you. New energy is about to open up for you, and it's always positive with the World Card, okay? Now, following the World Card Major Arcana, we have the Three of Swords, so I'm just going to follow through here. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Tower. The Tower showed up for Aquarius. It's always going to be meant for somebody. Three painful decisions. Uh, it could be um, some sort of heartbreak, grief, and situation going on with anything that's going on with you. Pet loss, pet gets out, but it's not, you know, uh, I'm not denoting physical death on the pet, but the family is left grieving. Third party is in play when it comes to romantic uh, partnerships. It could be conflict going on with your friends. It could be conflict going on with your family members. Whatever this three of swords means to you, this is why it's here. Pending divorces, actual divorces. Okay, it's very hurtful. All right, so it's here for somebody. Following the Three of Swords now, we have the uh, Star card, Hopes, Wishes, and Dreams, becoming fulfilled and manifested. So you have two major arcanas. So uh, social networking could be in play here. Um, whatever, you, you know, you're hoping for, wishing for, praying for, um, Aqu um, start to say Aquarius because it does represent Aquarius, Aries, then, you know, that energy may be realized this week. So... 
when it involves social media, you know, making connections through any means, it could be business, it could be work, looking for work, could be, you know, online dating, uh, communicating with family members and our friends. The star card here represents psychic abilities. You could meet somebody famous. Just make sure that no matter what's going on here for you this week, Aries, that your energy is focused on just one or two things, okay? The stars in the heavens above always get scattered energy, so you don't want to feel like, you know, you're scattered all over the place. But anyway, that's a very powerful major arcana, and you have it in your spread. Next up is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Inheritance Wealth card. Feeling abundant, all right? So this is uh, any Aries out there who is into gambling, you know, just gamble responsibly. If you go to the casinos, if you play the lottery, this is big hits, big wins. Um, also, too, I noted, too, uh, this is the reason why I like to use different decks because I see different things. So we're talking about money here. And look at the home in the background. So somebody might be deciding to purchase a home. Um, and that, if that's the case, then, you know, so be it. Even number of pentacles, you have two... Uh, you have a couple here, so what you give, you're going to get back, nurturing and taking care of each other. If you're the single Aries, you are, you're independent and you're taking care of your own needs and your own wants, and you're feeling abundant about that, and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's the Ten of Pentacles here. Also, to um, litigations, you know, involving lawsuits. So this is like big payouts and stuff. If you got anything going on related to, you know, litigations or lawsuits. Following that, here we have the Three of Cups, so there's a need to uh, be happy and uh, celebratory. So yeah, getting together with family members, friends, spending some time after work with co-workers at happy hour, celebrating somebody's birthday, anniversary, just being happy, you know? It's the happiness card, Three of Cups. Following the Three of Cups, now we have the Four of Cups, socializing again. So, you know, Three of Cups is part of that socializing. Now it continues with the Four of Cups. Even number of cups, the energy again, Aries, what you give, you're going to get back. Underneath the World card, the um, relationship aspect. So there could be new, for, um, you know, yeah, new friendships, new romantic partnerships that are formed. Uh, existing Aries who are already in, um, you know, committed relationships, then you're just seeing... Um, you know, the benefits of being with that person, enjoying each other's company, emotionally satisfied and being fulfilled. Uh, this is, you know, dining out. So it could be double dating, it could be spending time with your family and also, you know, throw the friends in there as well. What a good times. Up next is the Daughter of Wands. This is the Page of Wands. This is the news that comes in. Now, there is no link that I'm picking up immediately uh, with the Daughter of Wands underneath that. Um... Three of Swords, outside of the fact that it is um, two things, representing your energy, which is fire, but also, too, it could be representing a younger Aries. So there could be a message coming through that a younger Aries, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in terms of age, um, may be going through some Three of Swords energies. May represent a new relationship that turned uh, out to be not what you thought it was. So that lowers your expectations or your expectations weren't met. But anyway, someone else is going to be getting some sort of good news. And there's a touch of surprise. Starting new hobbies, uh, beginning energies of passion and um, things starting to intense and build up. Last card here for you is the Ace of uh, Swords. So this is excitement, victory and success. Skyline in the background could be victory and success for someone in another occurring in another city. Um... Yes, a lot of determinations. This is also first actions and first moves. All right. Ready to use that sword to strike when necessary. And your shadow energy here, we got the seven of pentacles. This is someone working hard for those coins. Could be working hard for, you know, something greater. So saving up your money. Options. Options may open up to uh, Aries and other areas of your life. Still could foster someone getting a job, a pay raise. Then we have the uh, moon. Okay, somebody goes deeper in terms of their feelings uh, towards you, Aries, or you're doing that to them. Pay attention to your intuition. Always making sure that, you know, if it's in your gut and you feel it, it feels real, it is real. If it's not, it's not. Um, just like the world card here, a completion or a cycle of energy is moving away from you. A new cycle is about to begin. 
Um, making sure that no matter what's going on for you this week here, uh, especially with the Three of Swords, and that's not the sole uh, energy of this entire reading here, but you don't want to fall uh, into the trap of the moon's aspect when it lowers our energies down where we don't really need to be. But we also, too, have to be careful that we're not sent up too high emotionally. We're always just trying to strike a balance, keeping our emotional levels in the middle. Okay, so secrets are revealed. What was uh, hitting is no longer going to be hitting. This is anything referencing likes or crush when it comes to romances. Uh, somebody just, you know, it could be, you know, someone going deeper in terms of their feelings for you. If it is regarding family, if it is regarding uh, likes or crushes or, you know, some other, you know, situation, romantic partners. Usually with this, I get the, um, I'm in love with you or I'm falling in love with you when it comes to the romance, okay? Last card here for you is the Ace of Pentacles and two Aces is auspicious. You already got the Ace of Swords, job offer, contract offer, infinite amount of money that can be made or received. Now, mind you, you already got the uh, Ten of Pentacles, you know, so here's the reward right here. Starting a business, Birth of a business could be saving money, uh, first time investing money. Okay, and you have it in your spread. All right, so this is what I have for you, Aries. Not too bad. Don't allow allow that three of swords to become your main focus. You have all this other positive energies here, and I always tell you guys take what is necessary for you and leave the rest alone. But I would appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. Um, you know, just be safe in all that you do this week. Have a great week ahead. Keep smiling for me. All's going to be well, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.